if you have an exclusion in your conditional access policy, something like require MFA for all applications, but this application. In the background, this will open a little gap where suddenly um, a user can bypass this control and do this only for a very narrow scope. So it's only for the AD graph and the MS graph and only for certain read operations. But I think this is something most of the Entra admins don't know. And if they add an exclusion, they don't know what happens in the background. And sometimes this leads to, hey, now my application works, even yeah. if, if it didn't work before. I and mean, yes. even if I didn't exclude it, but some other application was excluded somewhere. And I think to know about this, it's very important. Microsoft now also has a very good documentation on how you can prevent it. So how you can close this gap. And I guess it's something where you should look into if it's something you want to do, or if you are fine with that this control can be bypassed because you maybe have another mitigating control already in place. So, okay, you have require MFA and require device compliance. And for device compliance, you have some exclusions, but for MFA, you don't, something like right. that. 